Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to look at adjectives. In English, there are adjectives that end in ed, like tired, and adjectives that end in ing, tiring. And we have to decide in a sentence like this, do we need the word tiring or do we need the word tired? I'm always tiring in the morning. I'm always tired in the morning. Let's take a look and see how we can understand this and make a decision. So we have adjectives and here we can see he is bored and here we have ed and here we have these books are boring. So when we look at ing we're describing a situation, a characteristic of a thing, of a situation. We're talking about the books. We're describing the book. But when we talk about and use an ED, we describe a feeling or an emotion. It's how we feel about something. So how does he feel right now? He is bored. So let's take a look at some examples and then we're going to come back to this. So if we look at this one, there's not enough water in the Kinneret. I am concerning, I am concerned about the future water problems in Israel. So which one do I need? Am I describing the Kinneret or am I describing how I feel? Well, here I'm describing how I feel. I am concerned. So I need the ED. In this one, there are a lot of road signs. It's all very confusing, confused for me. So we have to look and say it's. What does it refer to? It refers to the situation of many, many road signs. And what do all of those road signs create? They are confusing. I am confused. It is disgusted. It is disgusting how much plastic garbage is left in the parks after the holidays. So I have to say, am I talking about how I feel or am I describing a situation? I'm describing a situation. The parks, what they look like, the garbage. So I need the ING. It is disgusting. My trip to see the coral reefs has been canceled. I am very disappointed, disappointing. Am I describing the coral reefs or am I talking about how I feel? And because I talk about how I feel, I'm going to use the ED. I am disappointed. So if we go back and look at this again, the ED is describing how he feels. Here, the ING is describing the books. I'm tired right now. It describes how I feel. My flight was tiring because it was 12 hours. Here, we're describing the flight. Public toilets are sometimes disgusting. I am disgusted by the smell of them. So here, I'm describing the public toilets, disgusting. And here I'm describing how I feel. I am disgusted. Your speech was inspiring. Wow, it made me feel wonderful. I am now inspired to do great things with my life. So here I'm talking about the speech. The speech was inspiring. And when I use inspired, it describes how I feel. So next time you look and you see an adjective with ed, look and say, this is describing how someone feels, their emotions. When we see ing, we're describing a situation. So I hope we've cleared this up and when you need to use or understand ed or ing adjectives, you'll know what to do.